uh, minister as well for batik but uh, there is one concern that i uh, really uh, don't like in batik is uh, that uh, it is a very a toxic craft uh, very polluting craft and uh, that's uh, that's really dangerous that we uh, promote it uh, locally because uh, and domestically uh, because uh, that uh, dyes using in uh, batik craft is toxic uh, so uh, when we practice it domestically as a cottage industry that uh, that remaining dye the wash away dye is normally uh, poured into our no waterways there is no waste water treatment uh, when we do it domestically at least uh, in dye in dyeing plants uh, in textile industry uh, it is uh, even though it is a uh, very uh, very polluting uh, at least they are maintaining uh, the global standards of uh, water treatment so at least the pollution is bit less uh, than uh, we are practicing it domestically so uh, i think it's a very bad decision i personally think it's a very bad decision uh, to promote batik in uh, in as a cottage industry uh, actually it it is bit hard to uh, use natural dyeing in batik because uh, normally natural dyeing a uh, bit uh, taken the dye stuff are taken uh, by boiling the dye stuff so it it is not possible to practice with uh, batik is really because the wax also get melted and those uh, patterns won't uh, create nicely uh, with natural dye uh, so i don't know that the people who had taken that decision to promote batik can uh, mm, but uh, we, it is a heritage we have it's true and it is a very beautiful carp that's also true but uh, i think it is uh, uh as seen a small naturally beautiful country like us uh, if it is get promoted as a huge uh, domestic cottage industry that's not good for uh, for our environment actually i couldn't tell you that uh, my uh, my actual subject area is on uh, slow fashion uh, which is um, that i am practicing uh, is I, i i think that i have to tell you this uh, that uh, how can we use design in very uh, sustainable way uh, in uh, small scale business uh, small scale fashion business and uh, how can we uh, reduce using clothes uh not uh, using excessive clothes uh, that uh, coming to trend by trend uh, but how to use uh, fashion products uh, in a very slow manner that uh, you just uh, use the one garment uh, for so much of years so how we how we can create an emotional bond with these fashion pieces with the wear that's my uh, subject area so if anybody wants to know more uh, i can tell you so uh, back to the work uh, have you heard of laksha this is an extinct craft from sri lanka that is uh, also a nice craft a heritage craft that we had but now it is uh, not not much practicing a very few people uh, from up country can be uh, are practicing this craft have you heard of this laksha alati nadu no madam no 
Okay. This is a large star or lacquer work. Uh, you may have seen this, uh, but you don't know that it is uh, a craft like this. Uh, uh, it is a kind of wax uh, taken from a, uh, taken from an insect. Uh, I don't know how it is taken. I think that now they are uh, not uh, taking directly to the, from the insect. I think they are now uh, they uh, have this to buy uh, that it is available. So uh, it is melted with these colors. Uh, that uh, that uh, wax kind of thing is uh, melted and. Uh, they have kind of a thread. Uh, they are getting a wax kind of a thread, a long thread, and uh, working with that uh, and heating them and finishing. So you get this shiny uh, lacquer work. Excuse me, madam. Yes. Are they only done on uh, clay pots? No. Uh, mostly it's done on wood. Wooden uh, pots, not on clay. Okay, madam. Uh, have you seen uh, that? Are the say sat in say sat These are wooden pots. Uh, these three are normally the basic colors that they are using: red, uh, blue, uh, black, and yellow. Uh, and there are two uh, two uh, types of that laksha work. Egolangi jati deka pino, neopotu adai, patal adai gila. Neopotu adaki ane, neva game in a kenda karagena, the ek and neopot thing, kadagaragara, ekata me alavano. And patal adaki ane, neva game in a kaka. So uh, it is uh, finished with layers sometimes. Uh, there are several layers uh, of that uh, color is added to this uh, wooden uh, items and uh, then scratch it. Can you remember that uh, in uh, in our primary classes, we used to do that with the uh, pastel, that uh, putting a lot of layers on a paper and uh, just scratch it. Maybe something like that. That's how they do it. And this, uh, these are heated over, and uh, wow. that it gets melts and uh, fixed to the wooden thing. Beautiful, right? Uh, this, uh, these type of very delicate uh, designs are used uh, in this uh, craft. You may have seen these. And they uh, brush it a lot of time and uh, get this polish shiny look. Okay, that's about Laksha. And next thing is mat weaving. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> mat weaving. Uh, you may have, you know this. Uh, I think I told you earlier about that uh, from that Lionel Wins uh, picture. Can you remember that uh, there was a boy uh, with a background, a Dumbara mat? So this mat weaving is also another craft that we had in heritage, uh, that uh, a heritage that we have, uh, a very beautiful craft. Uh, and we have a lot of uh, types of uh, uh, plants that uh, uh, the leaves are taken for mat weaving. Uh, this is a form of Dumbar mat weaving uh, designs. Uh, 
that we have. Uh, yes, uh, these type of uh, very delicate, beautiful designs are used in Matrindi uh, in Sri Lanka, uh, another craft. Uh, and specifically in Dumbara, uh, it is uh, uh, specific in Dumbara because uh, of the motifs they are using, uh, those uh, motifs of uh, birds and uh, trees, leaves, uh, delicate flowers. Those uh, designs are. Uh, to do. And in all these crafts, uh, it is uh, the knowledge and the designs, uh, the techniques that we are using for these designs. Those are uh, inherited by generation to generation. That's why, because now with the struggle of uh, money and uh, this. Uh, lifestyle that it, it has been changed and that's why these craft are, crafts are bit declining uh, this uh, mat weaving is uh, almost declined we can only see only uh, this type of uh, designs now uh, it is not possible to see this much of uh, delicate designs in mat in these days uh, one other uh, other reason uh, for these uh, rich designs is uh, in those times, this was done as uh, not for money, not for an industry. It is not, it is just that uh, if there is a village with that heritage craft, almost everyone in that village know how to do it. So they are practicing it. Uh, as a hobby or, a, or, a, or to take a small income but the the major income was not in this craft so that's why it is developed uh, so we can't uh, that the younger generations uh, today can't survive with this um, with this uh, income getting from the crafts that's that why most of the time it's declining. Do we have anybody? Uh, in an area that uh, mat weaving is in practice. I know I don't know a particular area even in Dumbara that mat weaving is not practicing at the moment. Any of your villagers? Uh, my Arjama viewed. Uh, is it Dilshani? Yes, madam. Uh, you're from Horana, right? Horana. We are from Horana. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, my Arjama's mother and also she not viewed. Yes, my grandma is also she had done but uh, not recently when, when we were little. Uh, she has done. Uh, I think this Kalutara, I'm from Kalutara, so that's uh, Kalutara Horane area. Uh, it was in practice, but not uh, right now, right? Uh, yes, madam. And that uh, materials for them, they are from yes. Millennia area. Ah, Millennia, is it uh, still practicing in Millennia? Uh, I don't know to that extent, madam. But that okay. um, um, can you can you please check for me? Uh, because uh, okay, madam, this is one craft that I'm not much familiar with. That uh, Dumbara and the other all the other crafts I have seen and uh, practice them, but uh, this uh, mat weaving I don't have much expose to that. So I'd like to know a place to that we can. Uh, inco it is a very nice thing in designing that we can inc incorporate it with uh, that we can collaborate with artisans that uh, 
in fashion actually that we are um, okay uh, uh, Deepika also said that uh, her grandmother uh, also we max okay but it, it, it has stopped from a, a grandmother's generation I think that uh, most of our mothers are not uh, living much uh, so okay in your area Deepika uh, is it uh, there still okay uh, let me know if you have any uh, contacts with uh, Mac weaving yes in Dambulay uh, do we have uh, Mac weaving still a specific village I have seen this uh, in so many places that uh, you need Kalutara, Gala and uh, in Kandy but uh, I don't know a specific village that uh, Mac weaving is done. Only few uh, personal uh, places. Okay, uh, Dumbar handloom textiles. Uh, you may have seen a lot of handloom textiles uh, it, uh, in everywhere, uh, but. Uh, this Dumbar weaving, Dumbar handloom textiles are specific. Uh, again, because of its uh, because of its designs, and the other thing is the technique they are using. Uh, it is done with hand. Uh, these uh, designs they are making, uh, they are uh, that picking one thread by thread. In the uh, loom, this is called hand loom. Uh, loom. In the loom, they are picking thread by thread and put a stick uh, that uh, equals polyratu, uh, polyratagano, we I think nooling nool of sera. So uh, now there are machines uh, to do this type of. Uh, very complex uh, fabrics, but uh, but in our heritage craft, we had this uh, technique that uh, weaving designs on the fabric. So it is a very unique craft to Sri Lanka uh, and India also it is practicing, but these designs are only in Sri Lanka. Uh, still, there are a few families uh, that uh, only one family uh, that uh, those uh, uh, their siblings are practicing. So uh, they have around uh, five families in Dumbara. Uh, they are practicing this craft still. Uh, they are maintaining their income with this uh, craft. So it is still there. Excuse me, madam. Yes. Uh, there's a handloom textile center in Horana. So it is open for the public. Ah, uh, yeah. Can... Have you been there? Uh, yes, madam. Anyone can yeah. go there and see. Yes, yes. Uh, yes, uh, that handloom thing is everywhere in Sri Lanka uh, because uh, that textile institute of Sri Lanka uh, and specifically for handloom, uh, there are uh, it was uh, in uh, in fifties and sixties. It was uh, revived that uh, that handloom was uh, boosted in uh, Sri Lanka. So they had a lot of uh, uh, that they have given the machines to uh, people and a lot of uh, uh, places were built. So it is it is a very uh, ongoing uh, practice. Uh, we have uh, but specifically in this Dumbara thing that normally in hand room centers uh, they have different machines uh, with uh, that uh, foot petals that you uh, may have seen that they are uh, that uh, with the foot they are handling pedals uh, with with those foot pedals we can do so much designs uh, in this machine, this specific machine in Dumbara, they have only two uh, pedals to uh, uh, 
keep this uh, heads up. Uh, all the designs are done by hand. That is a different uh, technique in Dumbara. So these Dumbara textile uh, crafts are different from the other hand loom crafts uh, that we are seeing. So how they uh, wind the threads, that the threads are coming. Uh, we call them hands uh, coming now. This type of uh, hands, and uh, then they wind it into uh, bobbins. So, this is the uh, specific number of designs. Uh, this is a photo from Barefoot. Uh, can you remember that I was talking about Barbara Sansoni and the Barefoot in Colombo? Uh, the, that textile craft shop uh, when i'm uh, telling you about barbara sanson you may have uh, remember i think i didn't share the uh, presentation right about that jeffrey bawa and barbara sanson i think i didn't share it okay i will send it uh, so this is uh, that uh, this dumbara craft was revived by uh, Barbara Sansoni, she once uh, she had uh, went there for uh, a trip or something, and then she met these Tumbara uh, uh, weavers, and uh, she has taken uh, their crafts uh, to sell in Colombo, and uh, it has made this craft uh, in practice. This is again now they are uh, doing this type of old. These designs are done in hand, right? It takes a lot of time to do them. That uh, fabric is a bit thick because of the technique they're using. Uh, not much clothing items are uh, done in Dumber, uh, hand loom fabric. The upholstery and uh, that uh, interior. Uh, interior uh, that items uh, that this fabric is used this is an original fabric original dumbara designs uh, this fabric is actually in uh, victoria albert museum london that some of uh, our heritage antiques were taken there in british uh, colonial period uh, so in British Museum also, uh, we have a lot of uh, crafts, uh, those ivory crafts and uh, jewelry, uh, those stuff are in British Museum. Uh, if this is in Victoria Albert Museum, a uh, fabric woven in Dubai. Uh, Can you see those designs? That it is very hard to weave this. And uh, these uh, bird motifs and these tree motifs, uh, they are in uh, Dumbara mat weaving also. This is a new one that uh, one of the weavers did uh, a replica of an old fabric. That's why these colors are a bit bright. Uh, it is a new one. A replica. Then the other thing is mask. Do we have anyone from down south, Ambalangoli? In those areas, and Matar, Nirisa, Ambalangoli, Pentara. Those areas we have uh, mask. Mask making is another uh, heritage craft we have. Uh, and it is related with uh, low country dancing. Do you know, have anyone, do you know the difference of these masks and this one? 
These ones, what are these? Anyone did dancing for levels? Are you aware of these? What are these ones? What is the dancing style related with this? No matter. Can you hear me at least? Uh, yes, madam, we can hear. Okay. Okay, okay. I thought I'm speaking to myself. <laughs> uh, do you know any anything about mass? One thing I told you that it is from down south. I feel I thought this is the most familiar craft to you all when compared to other textile crafts and all. Isn't it familiar? Uh, they are using the devil madu and like yes. Yes, devil madu. Garaya kana to ah yes, yes. Uh, and what else? What are the other items you want? Dancing. Have you heard of Nagaraksha, Guru Raksha? What is this mask? Can you recognize it? Anyone heard of Nagara action? No one cannot be. Anyone heard of a folk drama and dancing tradition called Kolam? Kolam Kela tradition ka kena halte no? No. Yes or no? Yes, no. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. This is Guru Raksha. Uh, in Kolam tradition, uh, Kolam dancing tradition, uh, there are two specific uh, Rakshas, like uh, Guru Raksha and Naga Raksha. Okay, right. uh, so uh, in this uh, mass, uh, Gurula is a bird that uh, there's a fight between Nagya and Gurula, the snake and the bird. Uh, so uh, a mythical bird, right? Gurula, uh, you can recognize uh, this uh, Gurula Raksha uh, mask uh, with this beak uh, and uh, that. Uh, this uh, snake is uh, taken from Mimho Teng Alagini Gurula, Kurulegi Hotaf Dianana, Mimho Teng Alagini Dana Nayava, that's Guru Raksha. That is uh, done in different ways. That, uh, that mask uh, maker, the artisan, is giving his uh, ideas into. Uh, that. So it is uh, painted in different colors and uh, done in different ways. Uh, so his creativity is added to the craft. Uh, but the story is the same. In here, these are not traditional. This one is Nagaraksha. That may be That the snake. Uh, but these ones. Make a guinea raksha kilakina, but it is not a traditional dancing uh, tradition. These are done, uh, uh, the modern designs that uh, with the, with the, that demand they get, uh, they are doing these designs to sell uh, as uh, souvenirs to tourists. So these are not traditional stuff. 
Okay, you should be able to identify what are our traditional crafts, uh, the traditional design, then what are not traditional designs. These masks are not traditional designs. Okay, they are creative stuff that uh, that pieces are taken from our traditional designs. That uh, this year, sorry, uh, and uh, this. Uh, Guru uh, Raksha uh, idea. Uh, this can be uh, said that it is a Guru Raksha uh, mask, uh, but uh, definitely these two are not uh, traditional, right? They are the creativity of uh, mask makers, and these are Kula mask. Uh, these uh, have stories. Uh, it is uh, a type of folk drama uh, that uh, done in down south. Uh, so uh, this is to criticize the society and uh, just uh, yes, it is a uh, that um, that uh, day to day stories of uh, all those days were taken into uh, a kind of uh, comedy. And uh, they acted it uh, overnight. Uh, that was Kola, a folk tradition, uh, folk dancing tradition in low country dancing. Uh, so these uh, masks are related to that, those characters uh, related to this uh, Kola tradition. So masks are uh, done. I thought you may have. Uh, Heard of these, uh, that's why I didn't put a uh, very specific uh, image. I didn't think of putting those specific images. Uh, yes, I think this one is uh, there are characters like Arachi, Jasaya, Lenchina uh, that uh, you recognize Arachi's uh, mask with Jasa that. Uh, so uh, those masks are related with those characters and uh, unlike these these are like souvenirs uh, and they are in different scales but in uh, in when it relates to the dancing traditions those masks are made uh, to very to be very lightweight uh, and uh, fixed to the face and to dance with it. Uh, so, Aduru Lita Mai Godakma Mehni Mask Valata Aragina Pene because it's, uh, it's not heavy. So, uh, this mask making is in practice not only for dancing but as uh, souvenirs and uh, to sell for the tourists uh, in down south and uh, and also uh, other cultural performances, uh, not specifically dancing. This is a place in Ambalamboda that you can go and see Mask Museum in Ambalamboda, Ari Pala Mask Museum. Uh, you can go there and see they have the whole story uh, depicted there uh, in this museum. It is an interesting place if you pass by, just go and visit. It's in Gold Road in Nambalango. So the next craft, uh, it's red clay, another heritage craft we have. Uh, but uh, not much with the designs, uh, it is being practiced. But in, uh, in our histor history, in historical era, uh, in uh, Candian period, uh, we have these, uh, these terracotta pieces uh, with uh, painted pots. Uh, they are really nicely painted uh, clay pots. Uh, when red clay or just clay is uh, 
heated and fired we call it terracotta the material that uh, fired red clay is named as terracotta okay so these are dried uh, ones not fired so after they put in a clay and uh, fired only they get this color uh, so i think you are all familiar with this clay things because we used to play with this uh, clay you know we uh, so we have different uh, types of clay uh, <coughs> clay deposits in sri lanka uh, so do you know any areas in uh, areas that we have this clay uh, industry has cottage industry koi dene clay tiyenne ogalang ganna areas tiyena da clay weda karana inna nathi have you seen any place have you heard of molagod molagod patte kawada tiyena kalagedi hen do we have anyone from kalanya kalanya also they have and some areas in anuradhapura dambulletti illa ne the deepika and i'm sure some areas in anuradhapura they have clay it's because that uh, this uh, clay deposits are not in everywhere nati nidhi that uh, you have to dig them out uh, so mati hamadana mana ha some some areas in kalushara they give some areas in some areas you have right me yes yes uh, and we have different types of clay Uh, that red clay and kaolin you may have seen that uh, white uh, clay that is taken for porcelain and uh, ceramic as well so that's it about clay mm. there there are not much designs uh, traditional designs practiced in uh, yes pandu asunari okay i forgot that Uh, i i forgot that it's in the uh, uh yes uh, that uh, uh this clay uh, what was i talking are the designs yeah those designs are not uh, traditionally practiced but uh, those uh, shapes and uh, the pottery wheel uh, building up those shapes from the pottery wheel and mixing techniques uh, of clay uh, they are uh, traditional and uh, the traditional potters know how to do it and we have also uh, modern potters and who are doing ceramic and uh, terracotta clay as well uh, so uh, yes we have very uh, few people that practicing pottery uh, in modern level uh, but uh, this is in practice that uh, making clay pots and uh, this stuff there is more clay is another heritage craft and the uh, then jewelry makers jewelry makers is uh, also another type of artisans that hand in jewelry we have uh, a lot in colombo uh, sorry in candy uh, yes i have seen them in colombo mm. in uh, with uh, craft council and all uh, but originally they are from candy and uh, uh, and in 
down south also in Goa. Uh, in Goa, they are doing those gem crafts and uh, silver jewelry. Uh, and uh, another set of, uh, we don't have anyone from Jaffna, right? Do we, did we have anyone from Jaffna? No, no, right? Uh, the weekend class they have. Uh, yes. Uh, so in Jaffna also, uh, there are uh, another, uh, actually there are a uh, caste and a, a, a tradition of uh, making uh, gold jewelry. Uh, they are called, um, they are called Chettiyas, uh, Tamils. Uh, who are practicing uh, uh, jewelry making. So they are very skilled people uh, that uh, 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 with those skills of uh, hand making uh, jewelry. So jewelry is on another craft, a very delicate craft that we have, working with gems uh, most of the time and silver. And again, this stone, uh, stone and silver uh, crafts. These are a type of stone, uh, Augusti, that we have. And next thing is brassware. It's again uh, a heritage craft that uh, we had, and in Candian era. Uh, there are techniques uh, that practiced in Sri Lanka with very delicately done uh, brassware. Unlike this stuff that we have uh, today, uh, they are they are a very delicate uh, uh, designs. Look at this image; it's nice, right? So the brassware, um, brass design makers, they, they also, uh, those designs are done by hand. So uh, the other thing, cane uh, or rattan. Cane crafts uh, is another technique uh, that takes a lot of time uh, preparation uh, so the cane uh, is uh, heated and blended and it's also uh, handy glass yes we well then yeah uh, and yes we will then uh, what is the other word the village Radhavadu. yes Radhavadu. Uh, we have this cane crops so they, that's how they're heating it and uh, bending these curved shapes. Yes. I love the texture and the color of the king. It's beautiful, right? Even this stuff, it takes a lot of time and effort. Look at the work behind that small things. Okay. okay uh, then I wanted to uh, tell you about few shops that they are selling uh, uh, crafts, uh, Sri Lankan uh, craft, and uh, they are presenting in a very nice uh, format uh, that doing well in the business. One is barefoot, I, as I told you earlier, that uh, Barbara Sansoni's uh, place. Uh, they are selling a lot of hand loom crafts and uh, other uh, Sri Lankan crafts. Uh, when it comes to hand loom uh, fabrics, they are selling. They are the most uh, influential uh, brand, uh, which is uh, selling the most bright colors of uh, hand loom. And uh, have you heard of Good Market Colombo? 
Good market is a uh, pop up market sale uh, in weekdays in Colombo, and now they have a shop as well. It is just a small pop up sale uh, happening every. Uh, it used to happen every Saturday in uh, Colombo Racecourse ground uh, behind the uh, racecourse building. Uh, so uh, they are selling all the good stuff, like more sustainable. Uh, and uh, they are arranging the uh, fair and uh, the vendors can uh, apply and uh, with their products and uh, book a stall there and uh, sell their products. Uh, so with organic uh, uh, organic farming, that organic uh, fruits and vegetables and these wooden stuff and sustainable, every good ethical uh, products only, they are selling. So it is good market for Lambo and a nice place to visit uh, if we get rid of this pandemic situation. Um, you can go and visit there. Uh, there are a lot of crafts uh, selling. And uh, I couldn't tell you it's only not, it's not only uh, when it comes to mat weaving and other uh, weave, weaving done with leaves, it's not only that uh, uh, rush and read like. Uh, Russian read means uh, pang. Uh, uh, not only pang, but uh, there are other leaves that pal uh, color, palmyra, pol uh, color. Uh, likewise, uh, there are a lot of other uh, leaves that we are using uh, for uh, weaving uh, items like these. So good market is a very good place for these uh, kind of vendors. This is good market. They are uh, selling all the handicrafts and ethical crafts. And another uh, place set up recently is Urban Island, Colombo. Uh, have you heard of uh, their, their set, uh, design uh, uh, school called AOD? Academy of Design in Colombo, it is a private school. So they uh, started this one, uh, this uh, shop called Urban Island. Uh, in this shop, they are also uh, selling a lot of uh, handicrafts. Uh, and uh, yes, uh, not only this uh, satin and uh, bevel and uh, uh, Textiles, they are selling uh, like ceramic and not only the heritage handicrafts, right? That crafts means or not, not only the traditional crafts we have, but the ceramic stuff, uh, kind of these stuff are also uh, handicrafts that made by hand. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is again uh, that place, Urban Night. Uh, can you see this arrangement? It's uh, very, very beautiful and attractive. I will show you the other. And Paradise Road Gallery is another place. I put this uh, into the presentation because when you go there in Colombo, when you are there, you can uh, go with friends and see uh, these places. They, they are very beautiful to visit. Uh, just to just just go there and see uh, what is available. So you will get a different exposure and it's important to uh, uh, that, it's important to develop your visual sense as well. Uh, you just go there and visit. Uh, a pa Paradise Road Gallery uh, is another interesting place that uh, they are more into uh, interior, uh, that they are selling all the interior stuff and uh, they have a cafe as well. Again, this is a place that uh, designed by Jeffrey Bauer, the well-known art architect we talked earlier. So it's a nice place. Uh, and they are selling all the uh, interior design items and with them, a lot of handicrafts are there, batik crafts and all. These are all books. Uh, can you see now there are those uh, traditional crafts are in incorporated with the uh, 
modern uh, modern uh, designs uh, to uh, make them in place like up to date and uh, a sustainable business gandhara is a another place uh, gandhara is in uh, pamankada uh, colombo that uh, there's a core there's a road called as uh, stafford avenue uh, you may have seen uh, uh, gandhara is in there uh, the uh, people who uh, lives around colombo you can uh, uh, since we are we have different people from different areas in the class uh, just uh, uh, the people who are around Colombo can uh, take them to these places. Uh, that uh, Gandhar is again uh, more into interior and uh, antique shop, uh, uh, antique interior items. Uh, but again, it's uh, giving a, a good place to the uh, craftsmen of Sri Lanka. A nice place to visit. So then comes Laksala, uh, Laksala and uh, National Crafts Council. Uh, the first thing I see the difference in this government institutes and uh, institutions and uh, this private sector is. Can you see the arrangement in Laksala that these uh, all these crafts are stacked together, unlike in uh, unlike uh, in their food or urban island. They are very nicely arranged and they are given a more value than in this uh, Laksala and all. Uh, these are good approaches actually. Uh, that, uh, government is supporting these crafts a lot, but there's a kind of difference in between the way they're presenting. That's my concern. Uh, so, uh, but still, uh, the uh, government is uh, supporting a lot uh, for these crafts uh, at the moment. So that's it. Um, and I could mention about that uh, the government institution uh, related to these crafts is National Crafts Council. There is a, a council called a National Crafts Council. It's in Bataramulda and they have uh, that uh, museum exhibition uh, exhibition kind of uh, place called Apegama in Bataramulda. Uh, they have this, all these crafts and uh, they uh, demonstrate how uh, they do it. So, and they have few shops as well. And it is an, another place that you can go and visit if you like, if you're interested in these crafts and buying crafts. Uh, when it comes to buying crafts, uh, I hope after this lecture, you won't bargain on them. Did you see that uh, that uh, Waywell products, uh, how much effort that they have to put into them? And uh, those, even those batik crafts, I don't buy batik uh, because it's not eco-friendly. But uh, but I can't stand when people bargain on them. Uh, actually, it is a lot of a lot of time and even beer. No, uh, it is a lot of time um, and effort uh, that are made into those crafts. If you do not value them, so they do uh, just don't buy them. So never bargain on crafts again. Uh, so it is it is a very feeling full and uh, a nice thing and uh, you should learn uh, to appreciate uh, that people's effort and the defects it has actually uh, a person who buy crafts uh, should uh, I don't think should actually that uh, uh, normally if you love crafts uh, in that you uh, embrace those imperfections as well. Uh, yes, Deepika, I forgot to uh, send the previous presentations as well. I'm a bit busy today. Uh, but, uh, can you please uh, 
remind me uh, in the evening if uh, if I couldn't send the presentations. Okay, uh, the those presentations I couldn't send you. I will send them today. Uh, please remind me in the evening. Uh, yes. Uh, so from now on, uh, never bargain on crafts. That's my request from you. Okay. Uh, do we have time? Just yes, we have fifteen minutes more. Mm. Those who want to show their more quotes, I have a little time to discuss. Yes, Sashikala, do you have any uh, comments on this? Uh, the others in the class. Any comments? Uh, that pink color in the background. Yes, it's not much relevant, right? Yes. Uh, I think she has uh, put some image. Yes, Shashikala. Image. And uh, Yes, uh, first thing is you have not used a color palette. Uh, better if you can uh, use uh, a color palette. And uh, in this pictures that you have selected, there are a lot uh, like uh, different ideas. Uh, better if you can choose uh, if better if you can drop few images and uh, be more focused uh, like this one and this one is not much looking Sri Lankan the others are what are these uh, others are looking Sri Lankan uh, uh, these two uh, maybe these are Sri Lankan food, but uh, the images are not uh, much uh, look into that. And uh, and uh, one thing I have recognized in your mood board, uh, something interesting is uh, that you have picked this uh, cow, halua, and this uh, pancake kind of sweets. So uh, unlike the, uh, most of the others have selected the uh, rumble and uh, spicy stuff uh, but in your mood board there are uh, very unique Sri Lankan sweets uh, feeling is there so you can go with that sweet idea uh, if you are interested in that uh, yes uh, take some kind of uh, that uh, uh, one one idea uh, to uh, go forward and and you can't play with these type of uh, uh, don't play much with these uh, shadows and uh, uh, yes uh, font effects for the fonts if uh, you don't have any uh, reason behind that uh, there is i i don't feel any uh, reason to uh, have a shadow for this uh, font. So in uh, in a mood board, uh, don't use uh, effects for the fonts uh, if it is not uh, relevant to your idea. Okay. Yes, uh, and find a better color palette from the images itself. Uh, yes, even in this. Uh, or do you have images to uh, go forward? Uh, drop some from the these and uh, get a better composition. And don't do much effects to the background. And uh, a small texture would be fine. But uh, try to keep keep it flat. Even the texture, uh, a single texture for the whole thing. Uh, so that would be fine. Okay, I really like the idea that you have selected uh, different uh, a different mood, uh, especially in these weeks. 
okay you can uh, you can develop this a lot more we discussed here right uh, okay uh, i have uh, received around 16 uh, boards, uh, 16 people mood boards on really mm -hmm. But we have a lot more in the class, right? Sandali, did we discuss yours? I think so. No, madam. Uh, did you send me? Did you send me? What mood board, madam? Uh, any of the mood board did you send me? Any? Yes, madam. Yes. Did we discuss? In the class? Yes, yes, madam. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, then. Uh, in the class, I don't, I don't think that we have anyone who has not discussed. Sachin, there's one, yeah, that, that jungle thing, right? I can remember. Shaba, Shashikala, Shehan, uh, send me yours. Uh, you didn't send me still, right? Okay, Shehan's one uh, we'll discuss in this time. Edura. Okay, then uh, we'll see. Uh, what about your Fridays this time? Can we meet up on Friday? Morning. We are primitive. Okay, okay. Just uh, for two hours on Friday, we'll meet up then so we can cover some more hours uh, since I have to stop now. Okay, then thank you so much uh, for participating. Uh, I will stop for today. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Okay, thank you, madam.